What is going on guys? It's Mac, thanks for tuning in for another video. Like I start off every single video, appreciate the likes, the comments, uh, the subscriptions, it's crazy. We just hit 700 subscribers and thank you so much. Also thanks for heading over to Instagram and following me on there, we just passed 1K, so that was awesome as well. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy uh, this week's video. It's about how to deal with a losing streak. I myself started off this week not the greatest. Um, it's been it's been a lot of ups, so I knew my time was coming, but because of proper risk management and because of this strategy, um, how to deal with the, the loss, it it finished good. I just, today's Friday and I just had a nice winning trade to finish the week. Um, and I already planned on doing a video on the losing streak leading up until today. So it was cool to see that visually and like real time, this is how I dealt with it this week. And then it resulted in the win today, moving into the weekend for next week. So it's great guys. Thanks for tuning in and let's get on to the video. All right guys, so this was the trade I finished the week on. We mitigated a higher time frame POI here, but because it's NFP, I knew we were gonna come down and kind of range. I wasn't sure how the volume would be as the session went on, but as you can see here, this is the block that we had the break of this wick that broke this structure here. So I considered that a nice break of structure. My target was down here below these equal lows, but because of the time of day, I closed right here. And as I closed, we started to come up. I'm still grateful. I'm still grateful with the trade. It was nice to finish the week um, with some nice profits, even though I was targeting down here. Um, but it is what it is. Still grateful heading into next week. Glad I could finish the week strong here. And I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, everyone. Hope you had a great week this week in the markets. I know with it being NFP, the US dollar was kind of iffy. It was ranging a little bit and resulted in some choppy PA on some pairs. I know in the last video that I talked about how I added four pairs, I'm actually back down to two. It was it was too much to focus on. I missed a lot of opportunities because I'd be looking at this pair, I'd be looking at this pair. So for right now, I'm gonna stick with it. For right now is AU and UCAD right now. Those are the two pairs I'm sticking with. But today's topic, guys, is how to deal with a losing streak, how to overcome a losing streak. So, you know, I like to be 100% honest with you guys. September for me, I only had one loss. So to come into October, the start of Q4, I guess I had a little bit more confidence. And I've said before that winning streaks are just as dangerous as losing streaks because you think that any trade you take is gonna work out. As I progressed into this month so far, as the week went on, I actually started pretty poorly on Tuesday. I went against my rules. My emotions were all kind of out of whack and it resulted in me taking three losses in one day, which I won't take more than two trades in one day. So I took three losses in one day. Then Tuesday came around. I had a one to eight on UCAD that tagged me in here but didn't tag me in on MetaTrader and melted. I just had bad luck. It's it's just one of those weeks where the probability model just isn't in your favor. And you know, the trades, even though my emotions were high and I didn't stick to my rules, they were still to my plan, but I didn't handle my risk accordingly and I didn't handle my risk properly. So how I got through to finishing the week strong today, staying calm, journaling like I talk about it all the time, and just trusting that my edge was gonna eventually play out. It's the issue with when you take a couple losses like that in a row, thinking that your plan no longer works. When in reality, the market just isn't in your favor. The edge just isn't in your favor this week. It's a part of it. It's completely a part of the whole thing. You can't be in trading if you're, you get butt hurt about the losses. And it was just kind of my, my week, I guess. And I just want to be honest with you guys and let you know how I overcome these weeks because I want to help anyone I can and help myself in the process. So like I said, taking deep breaths and knowing that just like a winning streak, a losing streak will end. So you're on the wrong side of the probability model this week. If you keep executing your trades to your plan, it's eventually going to switch. But like I said earlier, the issue is people steep away from their plan. People slip away from their plan after a couple losses, and then they just kind of run in this spiraling circle where they're changing their plan after each trade because it didn't result the way they want it. Not every trading plan is 100% successful. There's no way you're gonna win every single trade. And you know, 
like I said earlier in the video, a winning streak can be just as bad as a losing streak because you think that no matter what, it's going to work out. In a sense, like I've said before, as long as you take a trade to your plan, it is a win. So I still left this week very grateful for the lessons that I learned. I had a slip up on Tuesday with the emotions and ended up taking another trade that I didn't didn't want to take. I don't take more than two trades a day, if if any trades in a day. And I also went past my hours of trading past 11 o'clock. So it was just a recipe for disaster in that sense. And, you know, I lived and learned from it. It, it was my turn to pay the dues this week. It's going to be nice finishing the week off with the win I had today. Um, still finished a little bit in drawdown this week, which isn't horrible. It's completely part of it. And next week I get to build next week. I get to continue the growth into Q4. Um, I just wanted to tune in with you guys and let you guys know about my week and let you know this is how I deal with losses. Go for a walk, go for a hike, go work out. Make sure you're continuing every single thing you were doing up until that process, as long as everything's to your plan. Like I said before, a win is taking a trade to your plan. So you know what's gonna come, come around, you know what's gonna kick around into your favor. So stay up to date with your workouts every day, stay up to date with your journaling every day. Don't change anything if it doesn't need to be changed. And just know that the probability model is gonna work out in your favor soon, guys. Hope everyone crushed this week. I hope all my audience had a great week out there. And if anyone was like me this week and had a drawdown week, be open about it and know that next week is gonna be different. Next week is gonna change for you guys, all right? So this has been Mac. Remember what I say every single video, 1% better. And I'll see you guys next week. Take care. Have a happy Thanksgiving uh, for anyone in, in Canada. Let's eat a ton of turkey this weekend. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.